Hey, so we're here from Commercial Finance Experts Academy, um, founder and creator of the Commercial Financing Mastery Workshop. And I just thought I just want to make a recording to uh, express, I, I guess, my, my, my take on uh, an, an event that happened yesterday. Uh, I was at a, one of these educational sessions regarding uh, brokerage fees, charging broker fees and all that with uh, our, our local Mortgage Broker Association of British Columbia. Uh, one of my uh, colleague, actually our managing broker, uh, was talking about it, and uh, during the conversation, he asked, "You know, what fees? What what is fair to charge, and, and what fee should you charge?" And I just sort of blurted out three percent. And uh, and if you were there with me, you would be very feeling, you would be feeling very uncomfortable because most people in the room went, <gasps> "It's like wow, that's a shocker." <laughs> <laughs> uh, all I gotta say is it was quite something. Everybody having their eyes turned around looking at me. Uh, I was like, and so you know, but it really depends. And I, I tell people, you know, but you know, on on average, three percent is what I charge. <laughs> the reason why people reacted this way is that they're all with a scarcity mindset. They don't believe in themselves. They don't see value themselves, and they feel that. It is taking advantage of people. Uh, it is overcharging. It is greedy. It's selfish and all that. So that's what's on the mindset. That's going through, right? They don't realize that if you earned it, if you add enough immense value, that 3% is nothing. And if you really need to look at it, uh, it, it depends on situation. And if it's a very small loan, it requires a lot of work anyway, 3% is, is under, uh, it's below my minimum threshold to work. <laughs> that goes off saying, right? But on average, that's what the report thinking about. You know, three percent of a million dollars—that's like thirty thousand, thirty thousand dollar. They think that's too much. I said it all depends. You know, it matter how much work, how much effort, and how much value you add to that person. It's not about just getting the loan itself. It's like, how much are you putting into that person's pocket? I helped out a client recently. I charged thirty-six thousand dollar. It's a one point two million dollar loan, but I put into that client's pocket about $48,000 per year. I reduced her monthly payment that she was paying through a whole bunch of other private lenders and other um, uh, two different lenders, basically. Just making her life simplify, easy for her. I coached her over her the last 18 months to get to where she is today. And I, I specifically explained to her how to do it to get to where she needs to be for me to get that loan get done for her. All right, so it's not a value. It's not about just sitting down and making thirty six thousand dollars. That's all they 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 believe, right? Uh, my thing on this is that it's how much value you add to the whole entire process itself, to the client itself, and if you deem that it's worth your time, and that's the money that you're you're making to help your family and your friends and whatever people around you. The more you make it, the more you can do with it, right? I give a lot to my families and friends around me and even to the existing client that I have uh, even right now I just you know, just came back from another client that I met it, it's just helping her grow her business helping her with a mindset that she can improve her business and be able to increase her the value of her property by doing certain things uh, that she wasn't aware of, you know, like uh, the tenant improvements and uh, and if the tenants move out, you can sell some of the stuff that there and make some extra money. So, you know, she just throwing things away before. But now she's realizing there's value in all of these things, right? Simply thing as, you know, uh, insurance and all that too, helping her with it, understand how the how she can save money by changing the insurance on her to deductibly to be higher and getting the tenant's insurance to have uh, a deductible to cover the rest and so on and so forth, right? It's just a matter of how much value you can create by offering the clients uh, above beyond what your simple uh, commoditized service is, right? It's all about la ha having a lasting impression and where my colleague, Camila Managing Brokers, uh, mentioned is that you know you're showing the right fee when they keep coming back to you for more business and sending you more referrals. Matter of fact, I'm picking. I just pick up a check here for uh, for almost ten grand, ninety five hundred bucks, and she's asking me to help her on a, another project in uh, in Burnaby and in Richmond. So two two potential projects there to help her with in in financing. 
Uh, even though the loan was small on this one, you know, $300,000-ish loan, uh, she, she doesn't mind paying me my 3%. So I don't understand what is so shocking about the number three. It, uh, it, it is shocking because most, most residential market brokers have a hard time charging even 1%. Forget about three, right? So, I mean, I, I do have a commercial financing mastery workshop that I teach and I help people to overcome this kind of uh, fear about charging fees and all that and showing how they can add value. They just have to take the next step and learn from people like myself and, you know, uh, Dan Locke, my mentor. Call me. If you have any questions, you know, you like it, uh, move move forward. I mean, don't don't look back and don't... don't don't be so scarcity mindset and don't don't let fear stop you from doing what you know that you can do, the fees you can charge, and how much value you can bring to the table. You see, it's not about overcharging people. It's like, I want to feel like I deserve the money that I charge, right? So how much effort, how much time I put into, how much thought I put into helping my clients to improve their current situation, not just alone, right? So hopefully you get something out of this video and... Charge a 3% fee. Don't be afraid to do it as long as you add the right amount of value. And at the end of it, you know, if the client's happy with it and they keep coming back for you, you know you're not doing anything wrong. Okay? If you like this video, comment below. Click like if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. You get future updates from me automatically. Take care. See you in the next one.